Tell your neighbor, the name of Jesus is a strong tower. The rushes run unto it and they are safe. That is the name that we have tonight. I don't know what name with you came tonight, but we have the name that is above every name. Hallelujah! Amen. Hakuna mungu kama wewe yawe Hakuna mungu kama wewe yawe Hakuna weza Hakuna weza Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna weza Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe Hakuna mungu kama wewe 
awesome God. Lord, we give you praise. You can shout better than that to this God. He is a wonderful God. He is a mighty God. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. We give you all the praise of God. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. In Jesus' name we praise. Amen. Please help me celebrate Daddy and Mommy tonight. In Jesus' name. You can as well celebrate yourself for coming tonight in Jesus' name. As you package your offering while seated in the presence of God. Deuteronomy 16. Give me from verse 16 in Good News Translation. As we package our offerings and give to God. The Bible says all men, all men, that is included of me and you. Tell your neighbor all men. You can shout better than that. Say, all men of your nation are to come to worship the Lord three times a year. And the, at the one place of worship, at a Passover harvest festival, and the festival of shelter, each man is to bring a gift. Verse 17. As he is able in proportion to the blessings that the Lord, your God, has given him. Give me in message translation as I recap something that daddy said during the giving faith. The Bible says, verse 17 please. Verse 17. Verse 17. Each man must bring as he can manage. Giving generously is a response, is in response to the blessings of God, your God. When that was teaching during giving faith, he said something. He said, giving, your giving is a recognition of what God has given you. Every time you give to God, is acknowledgement that God you are the one who gave this to me and I'm now giving back to you every time you give every time you appear in the presence of God and you give it is acknowledgement is in response that God it is not my strength you are the one who gave me and now I'm returning back to you David said in first Chronicles 29 that who are my people that we can now give it is a privilege to give to God. Tonight, you are watching us via Destiny Voices Television, Facebook Live, and YouTube channel. That is Maurice Olo Classics. I want you to pack your offering in response of the blessing that God has given to you tonight in the name of Jesus. You are doing so via your phone. Our details are already running on your screen in the name of Jesus. You are in the house. Please lift your offering above your head. Everlasting Father, in the name of that is above every other name tonight lord we are giving in response of the blessings that you have given unto us we pray that our offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable in your sight in jesus name we give glory to his name glory Was a blood, a blood. Glory to His name. Let us rise on our feet as we worship. Glory to His name.
clap your hands and give him glory. Jesus. Glory tonight. Give him as much glory as you can. Clap your hands. And give him glory. Walk to seven people and tell them if you do not give God the glory, God will slap you. The monitors are still a bit plain. Please tell seven people at least if you do not give God the glory, God slaps men who don't give him the glory hallelujah that is why an angel of the Lord slapped Herod and he began to rot on his seat the Bible says Herod had not given God glory for anything there is nothing at all in the life of Herod that Herod ever gave God glory for. Herod had given God glory for nothing. There is absolutely nothing that he gave God glory for. Look at it. It is there. Let's read it together. One, two, three, go. Then immediately an angel of the Lord struck him because he did not give glory to God and he was eaten by worms and he died look at the message translation that was the last straw God had had enough of Herod's arrogance sent an angel to strike him down Herod had given no credit for anything Herod had given God no credit for anything down he went rotten to the core a maggoty old man if there ever was one he died God did not only ensure he died God ensured he died in style clap your hands and give God the glory hallelujah Give him glory. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We give you glory. We give you glory, O oh God. Genesis chapter 1 Genesis chapter number 1 from verse number 1 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters then God said let there be light and there was light and God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness God not the devil called the light day and the darkness he called night so the evening and the morning were the first day. Give me message translation. I don't know what message has to say. And then we sit in the presence of God. First this, God created the heavens and earth. All you see and all you don't see. Nothingness. A bottomless emptiness. An inky blackness. God's spirit brooded like a bird above the watery abyss. God spoke light and light appeared. I like that. 
God saw that light was good and separated light from dark. God named light day, he named dark night. It was evening, it was morning, day one. But I love the New King James Version. We go back there. In the beginning, God, if you will ever have a beginning, if God had to fight darkness, you will fight darkness. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Look at verse number two. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. The New King James, please. The New King James, please. Verse number two. The New King James. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light that it was good. But he doesn't tell us something about the darkness. He only said that the light was good, which means the darkness was bad. And God saw the light that it was good and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day and he looked at the darkness that was not good and he said you are night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Ladies and gentlemen, God faced darkness in the beginning. And every man that will ever fulfill anything in life will face darkness in their lives. Anybody that will become anything will face darkness in their lives. If your generation will know you, you must deal with the dark covering that is over your life. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to prophesy to you tonight that this night will be a night of light in your life. That this night by the power of the blood of Jesus that you will battle with the darkness that wants to keep you away from the light that God has ordained for your life. Lift up your right hand and say, I'm coming out into the light. Say it again, I'm coming out into the light. Say it again, I'm coming out into the light. Say it again, I'm coming out into the light. Say it again, by the power of the blood of Jesus, I'm coming out into the light. So God dealt with darkness right in the beginning. And he called the light good. And he didn't say darkness was good. And he said the evening and the morning were the first day. Anything that is yours that is in the dark. But the power of the blood of Jesus tonight. It will come out in the light. I say it again, it will come out in the light. I decree and I declare over your life. If there is anything covering you. If there is anything that has kept you in the dark. I decree by the blood of Jesus. You will come out in the light. God faced darkness. He said, let there be light. And there was light. Please sit over the head of darkness. Sit over the head of darkness. Anything attacking you that is hidden in the dark, it will come out in the light tonight. Anything that is yours that is hidden in the dark, it will come out in the light tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, I came to share with us that any man that will become great in this life will face the power of darkness. But, 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 but God used the power of light to conquer the power of darkness. God had to speak. God couldn't go quiet. If God spoke to darkness, ladies and gentlemen, you are going to open your mouth and speak to the darkness of your life. This is communion and warfare service. Darkness never leaves until men speak. God spoke light into darkness. And you have to speak 
If at all darkness will leave your life, you have to speak. If at all you will conquer darkness, you have to speak. If at all you will rise above darkness, you have to speak. Lift up your hands and shout, I'm ready to face darkness. So he called the night. The darkness he named the night. And the light he named the day. Right in the beginning. The reason some people never begin is because they never conquer darkness. The reason some people never leave one stage to another stage. God knew that if I'm going to be successful in what I'm going to do, there has to be a separation between light and darkness. And when light appeared, God said light was good. Ladies and gentlemen, which means that there, there may be nothing good that is connected to darkness. Until you conquer darkness, you will never know the good side of life. But bless the Lord, we are in communion and warfare service tonight. And I want to share with you one of the weapons that we have been given by God to conquer the power of darkness is the weapon of the blood of Jesus. And I decree that by the power of the blood of Jesus upon this altar, there is a dimension of darkness you are going to conquer. There is a dimension of darkness that is going to bow to you. There is a dimension of darkness that is coming under your authority. There is a dimension of darkness that you are rising above. Raise your hands and shout dominion in this place. So ladies and gentlemen, it, it, it caught my attention that God did not advocate for darkness. That God in the beginning said nothing good about darkness. Yeah. But when he saw the light, the light was good. I'm sharing tonight on blood in the dark. Blood in the dark. Simply put, blood activities that are being carried out in the dark. Already the enemy knows that God does not like darkness. Already the enemy knows that if I'm going to do anything right from the beginning, God advocated for light, but God did not advocate for darkness. So Satan already is aware that if I want to do anything that will destroy man, I must employ the weapon of darkness to the latter. And so when I talk about blood in the dark tonight, I'm going to be talking about the activities that are conducted and carried out in the dark using blood. So the enemy understands the fact that God does not advocate for darkness and the enemy knows now therefore if I have to thrive and destroy them, I must take advantage of darkness. Mm. Blood activities that are being carried out in the dark. You must understand ladies and gentlemen that the night here that is representing the dark therefore will be a perfect moment for satanic activities and that's why anybody who prays in the night anybody who prays in the night i'm a man who prays in the night and i will tell you that when you begin to pray in the night one hour in the night is equivalent to three hours in the day You've got to understand that not every man prays in the night. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something about the night that is not like the day. You may pray in the day, wonderful, and I encourage you to pray in the day, but there is something about the night that is not like the day. One hour in the night, from my experience, is like three hours in the day. Why? Because the night is like a headquarter of darkness. God himself called darkness the night. And Satan had it and said, wonderful, wonderful. So the night is darkness. So the night now is going to be symbolic of darkness. It doesn't mean there is nothing good in the night. It just means that the enemy has picked on the night as a perfect operation ground why because he knows number one that God himself is not interested in the night that God himself never said anything good about the night a God called the light good but God did not say anything about the night and Satan loves to capitalize and take advantage but I pray for you here tonight in this communion and warfare service say this with me anything that ever happened in the night 
I can't hear you say it again. Anything that ever happened in the night, any transaction that was ever carried out in the night, anything that Satan ever planned against my life, anything that Satan ever did against my life in the darkness of the night, I have one weapon I'm going to use here tonight, the weapon of the blood of Jesus. And by the power of the blood of Jesus, I nullify it here tonight. Can I hear somebody shout hallelujah to the Lamb of God? We bless God that the darkness has just fallen. So we are going to fight this battle at the right time. Anything that was ever done in the night, we are going to undo it here. We are going to deal with it. We are going to overthrow it. We are going to turn it around. Anything that was ever taken away from you in the night, but the power of the blood of Jesus, we are going to give it back to you in the night. Raise your hand and say, my Father and my God, I take dominion over the night. I take authority over the night. I take power over the night. I receive grace over the night. So the night begins to symbolize darkness. In Matthew chapter 13 from verse number 25. Anybody running in the night with your name will fall down tonight and not wake up tomorrow. Anybody that can't sleep because of you will fall down tonight and will not wake up tomorrow. Anybody that chants your name, chants the name of your business, chants your degree, chants your brothers and your sisters in the night, we come up with the power of the blood of Jesus. They will open their mouth and they will not be able to rise. Anybody trying to manipulate manipulate you manipulate your ministry manipulate what you do manipulate your destiny any man that does not sleep in the night that is running around the home the entire night the power of the blood is coming up against them tonight in the name that is above every other name lift up your hands and shout the blood of Jesus in this place look at this but while man slept his enemy came and so tears among the wheat and went his way hmm. but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tree then the tares also appeared look at verse number 27 so the servants of the owner the servants of the owner came and say to him sir did we not sow good seed in your field how then does it have tares look at verse number 28 he said to them an enemy has done this the enemy came in the night and the enemy saw the wrong seed i pray for you i pray for your family i pray for your job i pray for any opportunity that was given to you this week i pray for any appointment that you are supposed to attend this week that if there is any wrong seed that was sowed in the night we are proved by the power of the blood of jesus i decree and i declare any wrong seed that has been sown any activity of darkness any work of the enemy in the darkness of the night but the power of the blood of jesus be uprooted in the name of jesus when men slept what time in the dark the enemy, the enemy came and sold in John chapter 9 verse number 4 Jesus speaking he said this I must work the works of him who sent me while it is day the night is coming when no man can be able to work the night is a mysterious place that has abilities that stop the capacities of men people go to bed with a contract that is about to come to pass and wake up the following day and they cannot tell what happened people go to bed feeling much better and wake up in the morning and they cannot move their heads and they cannot move their legs and they cannot move their shoulders people go to bed when they are seeing very well and wake up in the morning and they can't tell why they cannot see again people go to bed when they are about to finish their projects and they can't wake up the following day people have gone to bed and they couldn't wake up the following day ladies and gentlemen jesus said there are powers that attack a man's ability to work and function effectively in the night satan decided to deploy certain powers that stop the abilities of men in the night and jesus said i must work the works of him that sent me while it is still day he was meaning something else but the word night there means figuratively that there are things that stand against the ability of a man to function properly in the night and in the name that is above every other 
the name we are asking God how will we overcome we are asking God how will we reign we are asking God how will we come out of this and God told me there is blood in the dark we are going to apply the power of the blood of Jesus tonight in the name that is above every other name there are things that seem to fight the ability of a man in the night I didn't say Jesus say ah. we read it here every day Paul speaking and saying Lihanda Brakasa Libo Fasiela Bada Ligim Bravo Zotele Mahandiria Baza Lepra Sakati Bada that I receive that, that that I received this from the Lord that which I also minister to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night ladies and gentlemen why couldn't he be betrayed in the daytime that the same night that he was betrayed it is the night that he instituted the figurative sense of the communion the communion was instituted in the night and ladies and gentlemen as we partake of communion here this night but the power and by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I decree and I declare victory by the blood is about to come your way victory by the blood is about to show up in your life as you protect the communion here tonight there is a dimension of victory that is coming into your life I received from the Lord that which I also deliver to you that the Lord Jesus on the same night why was he betrayed in the night in Luke chapter 22 from verse 53 Imara zate imanda hati halibra halimbra tasa they came to arrest him and 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 Jesus told them when I was with you daily in the temple you did not try to seize me but this night now you are coming to arrest me and Jesus tells them this this is your hour and the power of darkness there is a sense and God is the one that called darkness the night and Jesus repeats it that this is your hour and the power of darkness Jesus himself agreed my father called the night dark I better call it dark as well you know why Jesus called it their hour Jesus said power now has been given to you to execute whatever you have to execute against me this is now your hour and the power of darkness and God called the night that God called the darkness night and God called the day light ladies and gentlemen Jesus seems to recognize this they come to arrest him in the night and when I was with you daily in the temple you did not try to capture me but this is now your hour in the power of darkness there is a way the powers of darkness operate in the night tell your neighbor the night it is in the night that he was betrayed. The struggles of Jacob were broken in the night. Jesus came to him in the night. And he wrestled with a the man there. Why did uh, Peter look at Jesus and he thought Jesus was a ghost? It is because Jesus was coming walking on the water. It wasn't in the daytime. It was in the night. Matthew 14. I pick it from verse number 24. Lift up your hands and say something will happen in my night life say it again something will happen in my night life say it again something is about to happen in my night life say it again something will happen in my night life say it again something is about to happen in my night life say it again whatever was ever done in my life in my destiny in my generation against my family in the night time but the power of the blood of Jesus I am ready for war but the boat was now in the middle of the sea tossed by the waves for the wind was contrary look at verse number 25 now in the fourth, in the fourth watch of the night Jesus went to them walking on the sea uh, ladies and gentlemen when you see him walking on the sea on the fourth watch of the night even if you are strong all you can say is that this is a ghost and when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were 
trouble saying it is a ghost and they cried out in fear look at verse number 27 but immediately Jesus spoke to them as saying be of good cheer it is I do not be afraid ladies and gentlemen it was in the night they looked at Jesus and they thought he was a ghost because this was happening in the night the night most of the times is a night of ghosts is a night of attacks that you can't tell where they are coming from you can't tell who is doing it you can't tell who is executing it the enemy has a way of hiding behind darkness and ladies and gentlemen that is why I've come to you with something called blood in the night clap your hands and give Jesus praise in Job chapter 24 and verse number 14 Job 24 verse number 14 the night represents a dark moment the murderers the murderer rises with the light he kills the poor and the needy and in the night the hambrus sotaka liyama gotasha in the night he sheds blood i pray for you again i pray for your family again i pray for your business again tonight i pray for your marriage again tonight do you remember the two women that that that, that got children around the same time they were harlots they were prostitutes and they got children around the same time and then one of the harlots slept on the baby in the night and then woke up after after killing her baby and gave her baby to the colleague and when the colleague woke up I blessed the Lord for people ladies and gentlemen that can wake up in the morning and can tell that Satan has given me something that was not my own the devil has taken away what was mine and the devil has given me something that is not my own the wisdom of Solomon was given to him in the night by God ladies and gentlemen it is very important and it is very paramount that you have the ability to recognize that I've woken up in a way that I've never woken up before. Something has happened in my life. The night is a dimension. The night has nothing to do with time. The night has something to do with the dimension of darkness. And in the night, the devil exchanges the destinies of men and Satan takes away from men that which is ordained for their lives. Lift up your hands and say in the name that is above every name. Say it again in the name that is above every other name. But the power Power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood in the communion tonight anything that was ever taken away from my life in the night anything that was ever taken away from my family in the night anything that was ever taken away from my destiny in the night if they took away my job if they took away my marriage if they took away my destiny if they took away my intelligence if they took away my health if they took away my strength but the power of the blood of Jesus in the communion table tonight I recover I recover, I recover, I recover, I recover, I recover. Clap your hands and give Jesus praise. When the night falls, your colleague can become your enemy. There is something about the night. Your own colleague can become your enemy. The same one that you lived with in the same house. All of you are harlots. All of you are friends. All of you live in the same house. All of you got babies around the same time. But when the night comes, Satan speaks to men. Churches are broken in the night. When Satan comes to members with very weird pictures of the pastor, businesses are lost in the night when the devil steals your image and takes it to your helpers. Ladies and gentlemen, there is so much you have lost in the night but I'm coming with blood in the night I'm coming with authority in the night I'm coming with the life of Christ in the night I'm coming up with the blood and the, the blood and the body in the night raise your hand and shout whatever I lost in the night I recover by fire I say it again whatever I lost in the night I recover by the blood of Jesus say it again whatever I lost in the night whatever they exchange from my life in the night it is night time right now I recover by the blood 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 I recover it by the blood say it again in the name of Jesus any exchange that ever took place in my life in the night but the power of the blood tonight I recover it tonight I recover it tonight I recover it tonight I recover it tonight I recover 
Look at this. Murderer's perfect ground of operation is the night. The woman wanted to take somebody else's baby. Actually, the death took place in the night. And the Bible says the owner of the baby saw her coming to take the baby in the same night. The question is, why couldn't she wake up to go and take her baby? Yet she saw the woman coming to take her baby. Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is still day. For the night is coming when no man will be able to work. You want to pick the baby, but you can't pick the baby. You want to rescue the baby, but you can't pick the baby. Have you ever had those dreams that you want to lift your head, but you can't lift your head? You want to run, but you can't run. You want to say the blood of Jesus, but you cannot say the blood of Jesus. You want to escape, but you cannot escape. You want to fight, but you cannot fight. And you struggle until the light came. And when the light broke forth in the morning, you woke up like you resurrected from the dead. Tonight, by the power of the blood of Jesus, any experience in your life, any experience in your destiny, any experience in your marriage, any experience in your family, any experience in your destiny, any experience with your children that ever should change anything in the night, but the power of the blood of Jesus tonight you will recover upon this ground as I lay my hand upon your life you will recover tonight 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 someone will recover money someone will recover wealth someone will recover a job someone will recover your purity someone will recover your dignity someone will recover your millions raise your hands and shout I recover by the power of the blood I I recover by the power of the blood. I recover by the power of the blood. Tell your neighbor the night. So what is blood in the night? What is blood in the dark? These are manipulations that people engage using blood in the night. Most people that are into cults that drink human blood and eat human flesh they do it in the night destinies are manipulated in the night manipulations that people engage using blood what particular time do they do it they do it in the night now you understand why it is done in the night it is done in the dark have you ever been slapped by someone in the dream and you can't tell who slapped you you greeted someone but you can't tell who he was you are fellowshipping with someone the whole night and you couldn't tell who they are someone came to you all you can tell is that the person is handsome but you couldn't tell who they were someone came to you and gave you some money but you couldn't tell their face that man of god i can't see their face someone came and began to tell you you need to leave that church where you are going if you don't leave it we are going to break your head but you cannot see their face i pray for you here tonight that by the power of the blood of Jesus from the time that you are born up to the time that you are standing here right now I decree that the blood of Jesus will bring recovery in your life I decree that from the time that you are born to the time that you are in this meeting here tonight whatever you have ever lost in the night may the blood of Jesus bring recovery in your life whatever you have ever lost in the night may the blood of Jesus bring recovery in your life any monitoring devil that you are given in the night may that spare die anything that was attached to your life any glory that was taken from you in the night time but the power of the blood of Jesus I decree victory over your life I decree deliverance over your life I decree liberty over your life clap your hands and give Jesus praise here tonight listen <laughs> manipulations that are engaged using blood in the night it is in the night time that those that speak to money do it. You know what money is? Money is your blood and your sweat. Money is a representation of your energy. Money is a representation of blood. Anybody manipulating money, they do it in the night. They take money and dip it in the blood and speak to it. They tell money, you will bring sorrow to him. You will bring trouble to him. 
you will bring pain in his life. You will bring calamities to him. For him to see it, there has to be calamity. Blood has to be shed for him to be able to see money. Those that speak to money in the night, those that take monies to the grave, they do it in the night. No witch, no wizard visits the grave in daytime. They visit the graves in the night. Ladies and gentlemen, the witch in Endo that, that, that Saul visited, Saul visited in the night. And it is in the night that the woman rose up and took a fatted calf that she had. And the woman slaughtered a fatted calf. And blood was shed in the night to be able to feed King Saul. The woman was doing it in the night. Anybody under the sound of my voice that you eat in the night, that you eat things you don't understand, that you chew things you don't understand that your kids eat all through the night and you don't even understand what it is as we partake of the blood of the lamb in the communion tonight those things will come out i say it again those things will come out i say it again those things will come out whatever they projected in your life using food using blood using a sacrifice in the darkness of the night that is hiding in your system the light of the word of god has arrived the light of the word of God has come. The light of the word of God has arrived. Let there be light in your system. Let there be light in your life. Let there be light in your finances. Let there be light in your marriage. Let there be light in your house. Let there be light with your children. I decree and I declare that by the power of the light of the word of God, something will leave you alone in this meeting tonight. Clap your hands and shout hallelujah. We go to Endo very quickly. Endo, the witch in Endo. So the woman arose in the night and killed a fatted calf. Wizards and manipulators slaughter things in the night. I'm headed somewhere tonight. Lihambro Zota. Ask your neighbor, what did they slaughter? What did they slaughter? Why do you dream about blood? Why do you dream? That you are not bleeding. Why should you dream that you are having your periods? Why should you dream that you are giving birth? Why should you dream that someone stabbed you with a knife? Why should you dream that something scratched you and blood was flowing? It will be blood for blood here tonight. Le mananda shariha mada le kebaradaba. Say this with me in the name of Jesus. Any blood that was used in the night against my life. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Any blood that was ever used against my life in the dreams of the night. But the power of the blood of Jesus. But the power of the blood of Jesus. It will be nullified here. It is night time. The blood will nullify. Wicked blood against my destiny. Wicked blood against my money. Wicked blood against my tomorrow. Wicked blood against my lifting. Wicked blood against my rising. But the power of the blood of Jesus. Tonight, O oh Lord, arise and fight on my behalf. But the power of the blood of Jesus. Look at this. Halima Natasa. Lebrazo Tebada. Handi Brakasa. Then the woman took a fatted calf. This is a witch. But she had an animal with her. She had a fatted calf. The question is who brought the calf to her? And now she is slaughtering a calf that was brought by someone. That she carried out witchcraft activities for. And blood is going to the earth. And Saul is eating a blood sacrifice. And the following day, Saul died. Saul did not only die, ladies and gentlemen. Lamimbra Sotabaha, Ligema Brada. One of the things that killed Saul is consultation of the forces of darkness and the forces of witchcraft. So the woman slaughtered. Look at this. Now the woman had a fatted calf in the house and she hastened and killed it. And she took the flour and kneaded it and baked unleavened bread from it. Look at verse number 25. She brought it before Saul and his servants and they ate. Then they rose and they went away. What time? They went away that night. 
you are eating yep. what a witch has prepared in the night anybody that is a witch in, in a shrine tonight eating consulting your name their death is tomorrow like Saul no one will eat in a place that is dark with your name in the name of consultation and survive somebody shout blood in the night so the woman shed blood in the night and Saul died the following day but we have blood in the night in the communion table Limata. The, the communion was instituted in the night Labika Prasanda and tonight we have communion in the table I speak over your life anything that is in your system anything that is in your body anything that is in your soul anything that is in your blood that was introduced by a wicked sacrifice but the power of the blood of Jesus it will come out tonight 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 clap your hands and give Jesus the praise listen the question is we know how witches get whatever it is they get whose problem is it that was brought using this calf then she slaughtered it while the blood was going to the earth it was not the blood of a calf it was the blood of the man that brought the calf you must understand it was not Jesus dying it was God dying in Jesus give me this God was in Christ God wanted to die so God entered Christ and so when Christ died it was not Jesus dying it was God that was dying whoever brought the calf ladies and gentlemen this was not a calf this was someone that brought it and this was the life of the man the scripture says the life of the flesh is in the blood so ladies and gentlemen Lamina na Shali Brakata. so whoever brought this thing his life was in it and the woman simply took the life that somebody else had brought and laid it down on the altar and shed the blood and gave it to Saul and Saul ate it Saul ate compounded trouble he ate the sacrifice of another man's life he ate what he didn't know he couldn't live beyond that I decree and I declare anybody that has ever initiated you to eat something that you don't like to eat something that you didn't know to participate in something that you are not aware of it will end here tonight I say it again it will end here tonight it will end here by the blood it will end here by the power of God it will end here by the anointing of God listen look at this that is that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself so it wasn't Jesus dying the Bible says this my Bible tells me that a man can die without dying the reason some people are not dying is because they have already died give me this we died with him we were buried with him so it was not just Jesus dying it was us dying in him and ladies and gentlemen it was not just us dying it was God dying in him at the cross ladies and gentlemen when God left him God crucified him and we also crucified him how did we crucify him the, the wages of sin is death so when we were sinners we were supposed to die ladies and gentlemen instead of us dying God decided to take our sin and place it on Jesus so when Jesus died we were dying so even though we are alive but we are dead men now in the dark kingdom there are men ladies and gentlemen that even though you look at them and you think they're alive the reason they cannot die is because someone has already died in their place and they are targeting the next person to die in their place and they are targeting one family your brother died for them your 
sister died for them your auntie died for them your uncle died for them and now you keep on missing accidents very narrowly because their eyes are now on you and they want you to die for them but your blood is bitter after this revelation you will not die for anybody anyone that has lined you up for you to die they will die for your sake they will fall for your sake they will go down for your sake but the power of the blood of Jesus lift up your hands and shout hallelujah listen now if we died with Christ we believe that we shall also live with him Paul said this it is no longer I that live the life that I now live Paul is saying there is another kind of life the life that I now live I live by faith in the son of man who loved me enough and died for my sake huh. so as you see us here we are dead men we once died that's why killers can trail you up to your gate and they will not understand what made them not to unleash the bullets because you can't shoot a dead man if God opened your eyes and you saw your real life, we are seated together with him in heavenly places, far above all principalities, above powers that can be named in this world. Ladies and gentlemen, we can enter places without using the door. We can be present, yet you cannot see us. We are supernatural beings. We cannot die like chicken. We died with him. Ladies and gentlemen, if there is any wicked man in your family, any wicked man in your village any wicked man in your place of work all this accident you are seeing a man is killing others to live all these mysterious deaths that you are seeing a man is killing others to live but I stretch my hands towards your life you will not die for anyone you will not die for anybody you will not go down for anyone but the power of the blood of Jesus Paul said this I've been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live. In other words, there are men who live, but it is not them. That's why if you fire a bullet, <laughs> my son, Pastor George, are you sure that that testimony you gave us was real? They shot a bullet at you, and it went up. <laughs> I will never forget that all the days of my life. Because the life that he now lives, it is not a natural life. They have tried many in your family. But whoever has tried you is joking with their lives. Is joking with their existence. Is joking with their destinies. Is joking with their existence on earth. Leman Tabara. Lift up your hands and shout in the name of Jesus. Anyone that wants me to go down in my place of work. You go down for my sake. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is determined that I will go down in my place of work, you go down for my sake. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is determined that my marriage will sink, you will sink for my sake. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is determined that my promotion will not come, you go down for my sake. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Anyone in the night that is eating satanic sacrifices, calling out my name, trying to eliminate my image, but the power of the blood of Jesus, you go down, you go down, you go down, you go down, you tried the wrong man, you go down, you tried the wrong blood, you go down, you tried the wrong individual, you go down, you go down for my sake, you go down for my sake, you go down for my sake, clap your hands and give him praise sit sit as i close so paul say i've been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live but christ lives in me and the life which i now live in the flesh now somebody may think is a spiritual life no this flesh sir a, a lion killed a prophet And was not able to eat the prophet because not all flesh can be eaten now listen 
It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live, not in the spirit, this hand, this body, these legs, these eyes you see, this hair, it is a different kind of hair. It is a different kind of body. It is a different kind of face. It is a different kind of eyes. The life which I now live in the flesh, I live it by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. So I have already died. Now listen. So the lion killed the prophet and stood by the prophet. And the donkey that the prophet was riding on, the donkey was looking at the prophet. The lion is looking at the prophet. And the donkey is looking at the prophet. That's the first time that a lion could not tear a donkey. Because do that donkey had been climbed by a prophet. There was an anointing on that donkey. The lion could have torn the donkey. But there was the presence of the prophet on a donkey. The lion looked at the flesh. The lion wanted to tear David. The reason the lion could not tear David. It was a different kind of light. And a different kind of anointing. The reason the fire could not burn Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. Is because that was a different kind of flesh. Nebuchadnezzar looked at them. And said. God who sent his angel. To stop the violence of the fire. But look at men. That fire had no authority over their bodies. Then he went and found his corpse. Thrown on the road. And the donkey and the lion. Standing by the corpse. The lion had not eaten the corpse. Nor torn the donkey. Why? Because this is the donkey that the prophet. Was climbing on. Sir. If you want to die. Sleep with the prophet's wife. God warned Abimelech return the woman the man who has climbed that woman if you climb that woman <laughs> you are a dead man sir it is not every woman that is climbable if there is a word like that limana mashataka he went and found the corpse thrown on the road and the donkey and the lion standing by the corpse and the lion had not eaten the corpse nor torn the donkey because this is the donkey that the prophet had used there was an anointing on the donkey and this was a man of God even though he died ladies and gentlemen even though he died the lion could not eat him because there was something on him in Acts chapter 19 verse number 11 put it there very quickly lift up your hands and shout about the power of the blood of Jesus anybody that took what I touched anybody that took my money anybody that took my cloth anybody that took my watch anybody that took an offering from this ministry anybody that took the soil anybody that touched what I've already touched but the power of the blood of Jesus you go down tonight 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 clap your hands and pray that prayer Shalabaresa le patara Zeke Kereba, Shere Barara, Le Parasata, Zelege Barata, Le Proto, Shere Bagada. Clap your hands and pray. Shalala Baragada, Seteke Bada. Lay your hands on your head and shout in the name of Jesus. Anybody that touched my crown. In the name of Jesus, anybody that touched my crown, in the name of Jesus, anybody that interfered with my star, 
by the power of the blood of Jesus tonight. You go down. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. You go down. By the power of the blood. Look at this. Now God worked unusual miracles. The hands of Paul were not ordinary hands. They were miracle hands. But the hands of Paul. So that even handkerchiefs or aprons were taken from his body to the sick. And the diseases left them. And the evil spirits went out of them. There was something about the body of Paul. I tell your neighbor, I'm born again. Anything they took from me. If they took my dress. If they took my shoe. If they took my eyeglass. If they took my pant. If they took my soil. If they sat on my seat. If they took my shadow. But the power of the blood blood of Jesus tonight it will backfire it will backfire it will backfire any image representing my life in the dark kingdom anywhere it will backfire it will backfire it will backfire they took the cup that you took tea in it will backfire they took your hair it will backfire they took your cloth it will backfire they took your shoe it will backfire they took your money it will backfire they took your office it will backfire raise your hands and shout hallelujah to the lamb of god shout again blood in the night ladies and gentlemen open your hands and shout blood in the night shout again blood in the night shout again tonight but the power of the blood something will let go shout again tonight by the power of the blood exodus chapter 12 uh, from verse number 29 shout again tonight by the power of the blood something will let go something will let go whatever they did in the night against my destiny against my brothers any gathering of the night any association of the night wherever they take blood wherever they drink blood wherever they gather in the night against my destiny but the power of the blood tonight but the power of the blood tonight i scatter 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 listen the god who created the night the God who said that day said let the day let the light be day and let the night let the dark be night when the time came for him to execute judgment on Egypt and release the children of Israel this is what happened and it came to pass at midnight that the Lord struck he didn't come in the day he knew that to break the power of Egypt he has to come in the night and it came to pass at midnight that the Lord struck all the firstborn in the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon look at this ah Lihambata. and it came to pass at midnight that the Lord struck all the firstborn of the land of Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on his throne to the firstborn of the captive who was in the dungeon and all the firstborn of livestock Mahilabata. look at verse number 30 so Pharaoh rose in the night and he and all his servants and all the Egyptians and there was a great cry in Egypt for there was not a house where there was not one dead give me verse 22 what happened that there was a great cry in the land of Egypt not in the daytime but in the night what happened and God told them and you shall take a bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin please let's go to verse number 20 somebody shot blood in the night the blood of Jesus will follow your enemies tonight 
the blood of Jesus will trace graveyards tonight. Wherever they buried your money, the blood of Jesus will enter offices tonight. The blood of Jesus will get into gatherings tonight. The blood of Jesus will get into associations tonight. The blood of Jesus will trace altars of darkness tonight. The blood of Jesus. Look at this. You shall eat nothing living in all your dwellings. You shall eat unleavened bread. Look at verse number 21. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Pick out and take lambs for yourselves according to your families and kill the Passover lamb. And you shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two doppers with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning. This is blood in the night. This is blood in the dark. And so blood was watching their doors. And blood was watching their houses. Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you again, the reason men and women are dying mysteriously, deaths you cannot explain, buses over buses somersaulting and killing innocent souls is because someone is drinking blood somewhere but listen to me ladies and gentlemen our kids are traveling by the same buses and by the same planes and by the same roads but by the instrumentality of the blood the darkness that is out there will not be able to touch your brother will not touch your sister will not touch your son will not touch your daughter can you mention your entire family mention your children mention your wife mention your brothers mention your sisters I mention Nicholas I mention Benson I mention Caroline I mention Lillian I mention Leha Matara Zedaba I mention Natasha I mention Joshua I mention Hadassah I mention Ida Hossa the blood is on their lives the blood is on their destinies the blood has covered them the blood is resting on them there is what we call blood in the night blood in the dark when the dwarf world is dark out there we apply the blood when the world is trying to sacrifice human life we apply the blood I apply the blood on this ministry they will not take a life they will not take a destiny they will not take a child they will not take another pregnancy the power of the blood ladies and gentlemen and you shall take a bunch of hyssop dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin and none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning why look at verse 23 Mahali Brasa, for the Lord will pass through to strike your enemies and when he sees the blood on the lintel of the two dopers the Lord will pass over the door and not allow listen the Lord is going to come you think it's the Lord that is striking but it is God coming with the destroyer Limarata Saleh for the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians and when he sees the blood on the lintel and on the two doorposts, the Lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you God was saying that even him as God it is the blood that can stop him ladies and gentlemen that even the wrath of God itself it is the blood that can stop God himself he said when I see the blood I may want to come in not that you are holy the Israelites were not holy they had done all kinds of wickedness and abominable things but 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 God told Moses when I see the blood even though I could have come in as well because you are equally wicked I could have come in you are not that holy I could have come in but when I see the blood can we stop for a moment and bless God for the power of the blood ladies and gentlemen from Genesis wait a minute from Genesis to revelation everything that you see right from the coats of skin that covered the nakedness of Adam to the several lambs that were slain during the Levitical priesthood what God was looking for was the blood the blood of the lambs and goats that were shed
prayed, pacified God, but could not satisfy God. If you study the art of the crucifixion, Jesus shed his blood seven times. Ladies and gentlemen, and when he hung on that cross, and every bit of blood had been shed, according to the presentation of John, the Bible says that when every bit of blood had been shed, and before he gave up the ghost, between Sarsita and Satisa, there was darkness in the entire land. Why? Because the blood is the life-sustaining power. It is the blood that sustains the light. And Jesus had shed every bit of blood that was in his system. And now that there was no more blood to shed, there was darkness from Sarsita and Satisa. And immediately after that, he cried out with a loud voice. And he said, Eli, Eli, Lama Sabachthani. That means my father, my father, my God, my God, why do you abandon me? The Holy Ghost lifted from him because the blood was done in the system and man crucified him and God crucified him. Heaven turned its back on Jesus. God turned his back on Jesus and we turned our backs on Jesus because every bit of blood was shed and after that he cried out with a loud voice and he gave up the ghost and he died. Allow me to preach. He died until the earth shook. He died until the centurion said, surely this man was the son of God. He died until the sun refused to shine. He died until the graves opened up. He died until the killers gave up their killing. He died until God shouted, the perfect sacrifice, the blood that I was looking for. Can somebody shout hallelujah in this place tonight? Clap your hands and shout the blood of Jesus. 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 Matashala. Hila Maragaza. Lepeteka. Eshanaba. I know you have done some things that you are ashamed of but the power of the blood you said some things you should have not said but when I see the blood your dad did some things that should have come after you but when I see the blood you did some things that could have brought cancer in your life but when I see the blood you said some things that could have eliminated your life but when I see the blood Alamakasha, I speak over your life I speak over your destiny I speak over your tomorrow I speak over your children I speak over your money but the power of the blood of Jesus tonight our God that fights in the dark using the blood he will fight on your behalf he will fight on behalf of your children in the name of Jesus raise your right hand as we take these three prayers Shalom Ahadia Zele Maha Leke Braza Leke Maradas Shele Mahandia, Zege Brada, Lemana Naria, Shede Magada, Ebara, Shele Bararasa, Lekete Keta Hasia, Morosa, Lehena, Neheria Basa, Lekete Raha, Moleka Taliaza, Liberere Sana. Le Maha Satalia Le Kema Salalihanza Le Bara Razeta Le Henda Barara Zelehe Kararasa Le Geba Rasalia Le Hendraza Le Kerarasa Le Teria Le Teria Le Teria Le Teriara Zelela Ya Zelela Yarata Le Gera Baha Le petera salali la kadeada zele matata le para takata sedege bada. Shout any part of my life as you pray this. The power of God will come upon you. Shout any part of my life. Part of my life. Shout again any part of my life. Any part of my life. Shout again any part of my life. Any part of my life. Shout again any part of my life. Any part 
that is a held in darkness that is held in darkness that is a held in darkness held in darkness but the power of the blood of jesus the power of blood of jesus say it again by the power of the blood of jesus the power of the blood of jesus shout again by the power of the blood of jesus power of the blood of jesus i come out come out shout again i come out i 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 come out shout again i come out Out. Come out. Shout again! Let it be broken. 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 Let it
deliver me 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 deliver me
Demerege matara hasa Bihindi barara Yemana mana ni hesete maha Lay your hands on your Your belly everybody Lay your hands on your belly everybody Limara sata maha Lima nanamas Lay your hands on your belly Pray this prayer after me Say in the name of Jesus Every gate Of darkness That was open In my life By the blood That came from my navel cord I closed that gate By the blood of Jesus Say it after me I closed that gate By the blood of Jesus Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Shalama Hadia. I close that gate. I close that gate. I close that gate. Close that gate by the blood of Jesus. Shalama Hadi, Brasalama Hadia. Brasa. I close that gate by the blood of Jesus. Open your hands now. Pray this prayer after me. Say it in the name of Jesus. Whatever I touched that was used against me say it again whatever i touched that was used against me say it again whatever i touched that was used against me let the blood of jesus restore it back to my hands in the name of jesus now leave those hands open spirit of the living god restore millions Restore wealth. Restore authority. Restore divine signature. Restore divine presence. Restore blessing. The ability to touch and to bless. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now bring these people here. Everybody that went down to the floor, bring them here. You can bring that, bring that, bring this garment. Yeah. Please. Everyone went down on the floor. Come here. While we were praying, the power of God came on you. And you went down on the floor. You don't understand what happened to you. You are there, you are feeling like throwing up. Come and stand here. You are feeling funny. Things are working in your body. You are feeling dizzy. You are just feeling funny. You don't know what is happening to you. Come and stand here. Taking a very deep breath. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for freedom in these lives. A break covenant that were enacted by blood. Any blood in the dark representing their lives. You let them go tonight. Taking a deep breath a second time. Taking a very deep breath. Put it out. Taking a deep breath a third time. Put it out. Take a deep breath the fourth time. Put it out. Number five, take in a deep breath. Number six, take in a deep breath. Put it out. Holy Spirit, you are the deliverer. Every blood that has troubled these lives tonight from the top of their heads to the crown of their souls let them be free now taking this deep breath the second the seventh time be free now be free now 
be set free now be set free now be set free now be set free now the devil will never claim your life again be free set be free be free I set you free I set you free give me the hands of this lady this one give me her hands go let her be free from today the name of Jesus clap your hands and give Jesus praise. clap your hands and give him praise Withholding nothing, withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Sing it, every hand lifted up before God. To you. Lift up your hands, everyone. Once you sing that song. Back to your seat, you are free. In Jesus name. Help those that cannot rise, give them there. in your life receive victory tonight Amen. I say it again receive victory tonight Amen. someone is receiving victory from blood money receive victory tonight from this night you will count money that you have never counted before blood battles that have fought you financially they are terminated tonight i say it again they are terminated tonight please bring her here bring that one at the back here bring her here I in your life whatever has held you captive whatever kept you captive 
in the name of Jesus it is broken tonight I surrender now to you tell you something. Never think that because somebody is serving in any area or department of the church that that's a sign that they have arrived. That is just service to God. Even preachers get delivered. Even preachers. Bring that one here. Even preachers get delivered. How many of you saw that Asha here that woke up didn't know where they were? How many of you saw that Asha? That somebody is serving in the Asha. Even pastors get delivered. Anything the enemy said that you will still live here with me. it will not be possible it is not possible it is not possible tonight I want to pray for us the ceiling work there has started that ceiling will get to this end maybe in the next one week a lot of money needed for that and this is how God blesses his people this is how God lifts his people the soundproof team was already here that is also beginning in the next two weeks you will not struggle to listen this place will be like a studio hallelujah if you can sacrifice your 10,000 between today and tomorrow, say, man of God, I believe in the anointing that I see. And I want to stand with you to build this. Come and kneel here. Come and kneel here. And let me lay my hand on you. Let me believe God with you. You will never regret putting your money in this. You will never regret. You are online. We have our details there. You will give me 5,000 run as well. Come and kneel here quickly. Come and kneel here. You are online wherever you are. Whatever you give into this work I'm here to stretch you every day and you will see this God in your life the same anointing doing these things in the lives of people delivering people should bring financial deliverance to your life 
Every one of us that will give a thousand, three thousand, two thousand. Come and kneel here. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord. If you have it, you transfer it. Once I lay my hands on you, you just go back. We don't take people's numbers here. You have it with you. You're dropping it on the altar. You have half of it. You have all of it. You're in the house. You're online. You can do that for God. Put on the altar. Hold my hand. In the name of Jesus. This is how God raises his people. Let the same anointing, let the same power, the same grace go with you. The same anointing. Blood will not hold you captive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Blood will not hold you captive. You leave this place with a miracle. A miracle. You live with a miracle tonight. You will see God tonight. The Lord will fight for you. Areas you cannot fight by yourself. You cannot fight for yourself. In the name of Jesus. The Lord will fight for you. God will fight for you. Pray for you. No blood covenant will hold you captive. In the name of Jesus. No blood covenant will hold you. In the name of Jesus. Give us the communion please. from the Lord that which I also deliver to you that the Lord Jesus this happened at night every communion service is victory you cannot explain just as I taught us that every time we gather something happens to us tonight you will know you have even come very close and some of you are already in the realm and in the field go back now and apply for that visa and see how you'll get it very easily those who are struggling to help you before it will not be a struggle. It will be very easy. Ladies and gentlemen, your light has come. You can only rise and shine when your light has come. Paul says, I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed, he took the bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and he said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you, do this as you remember me. He didn't say this looks like my body. He said, 
this is my body someone sit her down and serve her the communion We partake the bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me please look this way i know it's tempting to look at such people but even you your life is just like that just that you didn't fall in the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood this do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me let's partake of his blood tonight for as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup you proclaim the lord's death till he comes Tonight I speak victory over your finances. I decree that darkness that held any part of your life is dispersed. Give me Isaiah chapter 60 from verse number 1. And that is how we are going to share the grace tonight. Tomorrow night we have night of prayer. Don't miss and we share this together all of us our eyes are on the screen one two three go arise shine for my light don't tell anybody your light say my light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me for behold we are reading together for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and the deep darkness the people but the Lord has arisen over me and his glory is being seen upon my life. The Gentiles are coming to my light and the kings to the brightness of my rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They shall gather together. They shall come to me your sons shall come from very far and your daughters shall be nursed at my side then i shall see and become radiant and my heart shall swell with joy because the abundance of the sea has been turned to me and the wealth of the gentiles have come to me see you tomorrow in the night of prayer God bless you. God bless you.